Are trees considered to be biotic or abiotic? This car is certainly very adventurous and creative. I think when they see that I'm so enthusiastic about what I'm doing, it's kind of infectious. It's good to let the kids explore. You want them to be excited, because if they're excited about it, then they want to learn it. Expeditions, it's where you can go in AR or VR and search up anything you want to see. Food chains or habitats, it's really fun. I can take them to the rainforest. We get to go underneath the ocean. You feel like you're there, but it's even cooler to build a tour. Tour Creator is an interactive way of learning about something. With Tour Creator, I get to highlight the things that are super important, and we built the tours together so the kids are invested in what we're doing in the classroom. And then when a tour is completely built, it can go into expeditions, as VR, and then I can lead my own tours. Does anyone know what a microhabitat is? I can make them look at a point of interest and ask them questions that make them go deeper into the learning. How many different microhabitats do you see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Teachers should have the opportunity to create what they need. And I feel like tour creator, you have that opportunity to do whatever you want. With the Chrome tab, you can do VR, you can do AR, you can view a tour that you've created in Tour Creator. I get to bring those objects into the classroom so that they can interact with them. You can use all of it on there. And spare. <laughs> do you want to use some Google Expeditions AR? AR! AR! Giving them this medium to be able to explore and to create has just opened up like a whole new world for them. That's like the next step of education. I want to be there at the beginning.